If you're newly self-employed and you have started your self-employment activities, you must follow following steps so you're in line with HMRC requirements. Number one, as a self-employed, you must be registered with HMRC. You should have a UTR number. If you do not have a UTR number, you will not be able to file your annual tax returns. First thing first, get yourself registered with HMRC. It can be done online or you can ask any professional to help you with your registration. Number two, keep all your business records, all your income, all your expenses, sales and expenses. Keep all the receipts and records when you're about to file your tax returns, these records will come handy. You will need them to calculate your income and profits because you have to pay tax on your profits. Number three, ideally, all of your transactions should go through your bank account. You should have a business bank account if possible. Having a bank account will keep track of all the transactions easy and then at the year end accounting for that one will be much easier for you. Number four, which is very important for small businesses and uh, self-employed is manage your cash flows. Do not overspend because in our other video you'll find in our channel, we have discussed why newly started businesses and small businesses succeed and what's the reason that they fail. Now coming next step, as a self-employed, you must keep few dates in mind. Your financial year starts from 6th of April each year to 5th of April next year. That means from 6th of April 2023 to 5th of April 2024. So all your incomes, earnings or profits for that period has to be disclosed to HMRC by 1st, 31st of January following year. So keep the, these dates in mind. All your tax returns must be filed by 31st of January following, year, following years and any tax and national insurance due must be paid by 31st of January following years. You have to pay tax and national insurance class 2 and class 4 national insurance on your profits depending how much your profit is. Calculation may differ depending on your total income. If you are not sure how to file your tax returns, if you're not sure how to calculate your profits, what needs to go in, what doesn't need to be in your tax return, seek professional help. Ask a professional to help you to avoid making mistakes because if you make mistakes in your tax returns, you may end up paying too much or too less of a tax. You can contact our offices if you need more help or assistance and our colleagues are present there to assist you.